decreto ya va a haber un movimiento formado, ¿me entiendes? And I think it, we should post it on a standard as, as all the Jamaicans there, as the Americans there, because we have the talent, you know? And we, we, we kind of lack a little bit of the facility, but we have certain facilities where we could, you know, bring that, but we really have the talent. I believe that the Belizean artists have a far way to go before they can be comparable as a whole to the Jamaican artists and the North American artists. However, I can say that I believe they're on the right path. I believe that when you walk out of Albert Street right now and you see artists like Burn, the Pushes music, or you see Positive Vibes or Young C, the Pushes music, this is like Bob Marley and Rita back in the 70s. When you listen to Rita talk, she can tell you how she would get like a juice cart and put that on a bicycle and she ride go a half a tree and she push her music same way on the street side. Now everybody around the world who don't know reggae or don't know another reggae or dancehall artist know Bob Marley. They see a Rasta man from abroad, they call him Bob Marley. So I think they're pushing. And so the entertainer, the Belizean entertainer is competing against the finest entertainment product in the world, which is the North American entertainment market, because it is the combined forces of the best producers, the best hit makers, the best marketers, and the wealthiest record labels who are putting out a product called Beyonce, or a product called Shakira, or a, 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 a product called Jay-Z. If Burn is competing against that, or if any other local, if Super G is competing against that, the odds are overwhelmingly stacked against them from the outset. Yo, you don't know original Scorpion. Me walk through the shit hole in my head up high because me love Burn, hold him. I make it because them try. You know, I'm scooping through the, you know, I'm rolling through the city on them 22s. And everywhere I go, I'm seeing the poster. I'm like, oh, that's, oh, that's the dude Burn everybody telling me about. You know what I mean? So everywhere I go, I start seeing posters of this dude, CDs, you know what I'm saying? So finally I get to find out who Burn is. And, you know, dude all right, man. He all right dude, man, you know what I'm saying? And I think he's doing a lot to change the game, man. The moment I met Burn, I realized that he's definitely a mover and a shaker in this industry. The role that I see him playing is, first of all, to inspire other artists because I see him as one of the few artists who actually lives and survives really well off of his music. And so it goes to show that it is possible, but it takes a lot of hard work, a lot of pushing, a lot of marketing to get yourself out there. And Burn is actually an inspiration because he is the complete package. When you see Burn, you see Belizean paraphernalia, you see somebody who is well put together, you see somebody that people would want to reach out to and want to purchase something from. On the key days, sometimes we are up and about doing things really early in the morning or late in the evening, or we're out at an event shooting and we will see Burn pushing his music. That's the kind of work it will take for our artists to come to the place where we want them to be, where they are able to survive off of the music. I see the man on the street and uh I say, yeah, that are the guy where I sit on TV and so on. But the way how the man carry himself, the way how the man stand out and things like that. Yeah, I said that are the way one artist will really carry himself and thing. I was watching the Belizean news and uh, this this article came on about this Belizean deportee and this new CD. And um, I was I was sitting down wondering what is it all about. Then the, the one of the songs that they were playing, who's that Belizean on the radio? And I was like. When I was in LA, I used to bump to that, so I'm like, so that's the burn. So now I'm saying he's in Belize now. For most Malaysians, getting deported from the United States is embarrassing. It's not the sort of thing you announce to the world. But that is just what Vern Velasquez is doing. He was born in Belize and raised on the streets of LA. But after 23 years in America, he was deported last year when he tried to re-enter the United States. So, Burn is back in Belize, and the entertainer is using his deportation as a springboard to jumpstart his career. Last week, he released a CD and DVD entitled Life After Deportation. It is a documentary he began filming 
before he actually knew he was going to be deported. I figure I saw or heard of Burn on the news. So I would say I first met Burn there. And then here at Vibes Radio, I met him when he came along. I've been, I've been listening a little bit. I've been listening in a little bit. And it's obvious that Byrne is somebody who has had some exposure. He's definitely an original. And I thought that his attempt, if you will, to let his music express what it is he's seeing and what it is he has experienced in life, particularly life after deportation, is an important and, in a sense, a groundbreaking experience for Belizean musicians. It's a good example to hold up. The best cultural expressions, I believe, the best form of music expression and art expression is that which comes from life. In the end, art is the mirror of life. We were doing an interview on a radio station and just to feel the power that was coming off this brother. It's like I've, I've met artists everywhere from Africa, Europe, uh, boy, almost everywhere in the world. But the energy, just, just pure energy coming off of this brother, you know that uh, he's into something that's very positive, very good. And not only that, from knowing Burn, he knows what he wants and he's going after it, okay? So people can critique him. I think he's excellent. I love his message. His his uh, his appearance in front of the camera is class one. The transition that I see happening right now is twofold. One, you have artists who are broadening their scope. You have artists who are reconnecting with their roots and you have Belizeans who are learning to appreciate their own product more than what is out there internationally. It is not to say that we should totally block out, for example, the Jamaican dance hall music or the hip hop or the golden oldies or whatever it is that you might like. There's room for everybody, but I think that for us, we have to start looking more at what we're doing here in Belize. I think that if we're to think of what is happening on the global scale right now, it will be 10 times harder for a Belizean artist to sell a hip hop CD internationally than it would be to sell a Punta CD, right? Or a broke down CD. Because it's our own flavor, it's our own thing. Since Burn come from, from foreign, I get deported. To me, honest truthfully, to me from my heart, to me that like only burn to push it like that. Cause burn got from movie, you dig? Burn got from music, burn got celebration music, we're just gone, you dig? That like yo, you know what, me not hear no other artists do things like that, you dig? So me have a big up burn upon that, and I have no respect to that. Because burn come from nowhere and push and push and push, now he reached at the path where, 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 where he's stable. In a kind of way, the music is lovely, the music is nice, the music is sweet. Burn as an artist. I believe Burn the lead, the forefront right now, with his style of presentation, his style of marketing, his style of creating an image for himself and making himself into a product. Everywhere you go, you see a Burn poster, or you hear a Burn song, or you see a Burn documentary, or Go wide and show the TV screen. Right now on BTV, it was not set to be plain. It just happens that a burn is on because there's so much burn out there. That is the way you create a successful image. By seeing to it that everywhere the general public go, there is something about you being said, something about you to be seen, something about you to be heard. And that is burn. Burn vehicle drive past. It doesn't matter if you don't remember what color burn vehicle is. You're going to identify it by the life-size poster of him on the back of the vehicle. I believe that if more artists push the way how burn is pushing right now, the industry is going to grow. Because no one artist can create the industry. It's collectively. It's not even no one genre of music that can create the industry. Super G doing a number with Punta and all the other artists them. But the industry not going to grow without the dancehall artists and the hip-hop artists and the rap and the reggae and the reggaeton artists as well. 
when all of them collectively come together and start pushing the way of Bernie's pushing, then Belize gonna have an industry. And then, just maybe, an artist will be able to actually live off his music, survive off his music. Burn as the artist. The artist, they panic the grind. Now I like it, the artist, for real. Every day you can see this dude up on Albert Streets, you have know, for your vehicles, for your big posts on it, that's it, you know? You grind. They get his, that's so reason for the way to get theirs, you know? For real. Now, if this dude that's sort of leading away, you know? I real things burn, real. If you just set a trend for the artist there, we could follow that same trend there, you know? It's easy for you check that. Me? Real. Why, why I got to say to that? That they are you no know, wait for nobody. Yeah. Do nothing for him. They are get up and make it happen out there. And for the longest I do music, I will hear a man talk about. Boy, when my CD drop, I want to the panic grind. And when you know, they get a promotional CD, not even an album. The thing we take to get man out there to sell their own CD. Yo, Burn come in, last standing reporty um, movie. Show the island that yo, yeah, I come from far. This is the way he made it do. I come here, he do the same thing, push the energy. I know what all the good works are burning, though. All the artists that were burning, they inspire, they do better, and come out of that dependency stage where you just wait. See somebody can sponsor you. Yeah. I met Burn a few years ago. Actually, I met him on a CD cover. I didn't know him in person yet, but I got this CD delivered here and I looked at it and I will be honest with you it was a very appealing presentation um, but I said but this guy is not Belizean you know and, and the, the entire presentation of the CD I said wow okay and then I started listening to some of the music and I said but this young man is rapping and he's using Creole and I thought that was pretty cool and then I got to meet him in person and he told me about his life story, um, the trials, the challenges he went through in the United States. But behind all of that, there was a spirit of optimism. There was a spirit of consciousness. There was a spirit of yearning, a passion for wanting to fulfill a dream, wanting to really tap into his talents to do something positive, despite whatever had happened in the past. And I found that to be a very compelling story and I was very inspired by that. And I have been watching all the productions that he's been doing since. Yes, first it was Life After Deportation and then the relaunch of Life After Deportation. And then it was the evolution and then the documentaries. And he's produced videos and now this documentary, which I think will bring him closer and closer to his ultimate dream of wanting to change things here at home. I think that Belizean artists now have yet another forum to express themselves, to make themselves more known, more appreciated. And I think that is so very integral and so very essential for us here to change the game. And why I had asked Burn to to be the host of the carnival is is because I feel that Byrne has an understanding of himself as a product, as not a, somebody with an ego or someone who who um, is trying to achieve something for himself, but trying to grow a product which is himself, which is his own brand, the brand of Byrne. And so I I um because I feel that. Byrne has this kind of understanding of the entertainer's role in society as a product. As not somebody who I know like this one and I know like that and I know like TV and I want to sing my song and I only rap about that and me and a playboy. No, I feel that the, the entertainer, if he, is, if he is properly attuned to the needs of media and the society, the entertainer will realize that in many ways I am I'm just entertaining on a different platform. I can do, I can do multiple things in multiple fora, so that's why I tap burn to sort of bridge that bridge that divide between entertainment and broadcasting. Uh, Belizean artists could use a lot more exposure, indeed. Um, why at a 
um, people from the radio mic.